Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file with a whole bunch of uh, basketball tags, and he wants to change the names, and he thinks he can use Editor, and it doesn't really work. So here's the way to do it. Let me just take away this Carter, and we'll start over. Now, one of the problems is, and maybe I'll address it in a second video, I'm going to go to Object Order, back a page, and you can see that the... Um, that part of the drawing is a bitmap. It's got a white bounty box and it's quite fuzzy. So we need to address that maybe in a second video. <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take away my yellow box. The basketball is about in the center. If I grab about in the center and hold down the shift and control button, I'll get a path. Now the bottom of it is not quite a round circle. So I'm gonna take my virtual segment delete key and delete these other parts of the line. And then we have that. So now what I would do is, let's type in, uh, uh, I don't remember the kid's name, number uh, 25. Now, I find it easier to have not everything in the way and use this as my path so I'm going to go to text, fit text to path, and put it on there and see, wait till you get to that red line that means it's in the center. Now, because it's on the bottom of the path, it's going to be uh, scrunched up a little bit. So now what we need to do is take the shape tool, and we just need to kind of elongate this a little bit. Now it made it off center, but if you go right here back to text to path, you can kind of get it back where you want it and maybe put it like right there. Now we're going to take the, and you know what I should have done for, and this will make it a lot easier in a second. If we do this, I'm going to take this back and make this a red line. Okay. Now I'm going to go in the, you'll see why at the end of the video, I'm going to go text, text the path, put on the path. And we see the red line, so that means it's in the center, which doesn't really help us because of the fact that we're going to elongate this so the number's a little bit far apart. Go back to the pick tool and go right here and just kind of click it till it's in the middle. And you can, like it's going up from 41 to 46, so you can go 0.43 if you think that's more in the center. And you could always bring in an indexing line and see, so bring that in and maybe click back on it. And that's more in the center. Now what we want to do is we want to nudge this back over. We still want to keep it on text to path. Now, you cannot really change by with the editor because the editor doesn't show up. My nudge factor is 3.5, so I'm going to make just a couple of them. And let's say you had a whole page of this, but we want to edit this name. If you take your text tool and click on that and then just reverse it, back it up, back up space. And let's call this one Billy, uh, Billy Hayden, number 33. And if you can see it kept it pretty even, uh, we got a longer name. So we're gonna have to get the shape tool. Well, not the shape tool, excuse me, the pick tool and go right here and that maybe would help if I would have kept that indexing line, the whole that way they'd all be the same. <clears throat> and then just go over to this one. So the editor doesn't work, doesn't even show up. So grab your text tool, click on that text and just hit the backspace key. And we'll call this Donnie, whoop. Donnie Smith, number, um, might even help put a space there, 44, and then hit enter. Now, this is where it would really have helped you if we would have kept that indexing line. So let's just bring that back. And that was pretty good there. So you need, we, we need to change the Billy one. So with the text tool, go uphill. That's pretty good. Donnie, go uphill. 
See the name shorter, but we can still get in the center. Now, the reason I made that line red is because now I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go to break the 12 object apart. Now, there's two ways, but if you had hundreds of them, I think it'd be easier to go to edit, find and replace. And we're going to click on that line. We're going to go from selection. From a select search range selection. Find all. Well, it didn't work. There is a way to do it. We could probably uh, maybe search hairlines. Um, let's edit query. Of course, our other deal is a hairline. I'm going to take away curves. And I'm going to go to outline. Outline of properties. Say OK. From selection. Find all. Nah, it's not finding it. But it did delete it. So it wouldn't be very hard just to go through there and delete that. So that's the only, and I hope maybe somebody else knows more and will chime in. And also, if you're going to cut this out, I would definitely make this a red hairline um, prior to making copies of it. So you wouldn't have to do this. Now, I don't have the font he was using, but it'll work with that font. So if you'll stay tuned to part two, we're going to clean this up. I think it'll clean up pretty easily. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.